Hi everyone, it's Lindsay here today and I'm so excited to share with you how I made these sparkly rainbow watercolor backgrounds. I'm going to be using the sheer shimmer sticks today. These are not the spritzes, they're in a stick form. They're the same exact thing essentially, just with a different applicator, which is so much fun to play around with. You can see these have a nice little felt applicator on the top of it. So you don't spray these out, you rub them across whatever it is that you want the sparkle on. Now I have three colors here today. I have the silver, the sparkle, and the rose gold. Now I went ahead and put these on different surfaces. So here I have just plain cardstock to show you how it looks. I also applied it to watercolor paper, which I'll be using on my project today. These work beautifully on watercolor paper. And I also went ahead and put them across black cardstock, which is kind of really the showstopper. I mean, look at that. And sorry about the shadow, but taking away my little diffuser paper up there really allows that to really sparkle and get a nice look at how much these shine. So for my project today, I'm going to be using the Memento Dual Tip Markers. These are wonderful to create really quick quick backgrounds with and I have five different colors here or six different colors excuse me I'm starting off with rosebud which is a nice bright pink and I am just going to use that brush tip to lay down a nice base of color I'm just doing a little section here because I want to go in rainbow order all the way across my piece of watercolor paper. I'm not going completely to the edges. I want this to have more of a paintbrush look on it. You could if you wanted to, but I'm just gonna keep mine kind of nice and jagged. It also helps if you're not going all the way to the edge of the paper to keep it nice and jagged because when you're blending this, it's harder to keep it kind of all symmetrical. So my next color was Tangelo, my orange color, and then I'm going in with Dandelion. Now each time I come in with a different color, I'm not starting right next to the color that I finished with, I'm going into it a little bit. These markers blend beautifully on watercolor paper that I'm using here. Whenever you do kind of blend them on their own, you can go back and forth between the two of them, and that blends them beautifully, but I want an even more watercolor look. I'm working on the smooth side of watercolor paper in this project. You can work on the rougher side if you want. I did do that on another project and it works beautifully as well. I went ahead and used a little bit of Pear Tart, Teal Zeal, and now I'm coming in with my final color, Lilac Posies. Again, starting just inside that blue and dragging out to the edge. Now it's time to blend these all together. I'm using the Sparkle Shimmer, Sheer Shimmer Sticks. That is a mouthful, sorry. And I'm just going to start with the pink. I'm moving back and forth across the pink, and I'm going in with one layer here. Now once I get to that orange, I'm going to go ahead and take a dry cloth and turn it up to where the felt tip is facing up because I don't want to lose a lot of the liquid inside there and I'll just press my cloth right on the top to get out some of that pink color so it doesn't drag all the way through the orange. Then I'll go ahead and come back into the orange and drag it down towards the yellow. Then when I'm to that yellow, flip my applicator over and wipe off some of that orange. Then I'll come back into the yellow and do the same exact thing, blending between the two colors slightly. When I get to the green, I can go ahead and again, flip it over so I'm not losing a bunch of product and just give it a good wipe with a dry cloth. Then come back in and start where I left off with the green and drag that down towards the blue. Now, once I get to the blue here, I did want those two to mix a little bit because they are so far apart on the spectrum, one's a lot darker than the other. I did bring the blue up into the green a little bit so it would mix a little bit better. Then you really want to wipe good here between the blues and the purples because that blue really wants to drag into another color. So I gave it a good wipe and did the blue into the purple and then just drug that purple out a little bit to the edges of the paper. Now, one layer is great but two is even better because it adds more sparkle. And also you've already wet 
the medium once, the markers that are on the paper once, so they're gonna blend a lot more easily now. Now, I didn't even bother wiping too awfully much with this layer. I just kind of drug all the way down across because you've already gotten rid of quite a bit of pigment. Now, once you're finished blending, all you need to do to get the color off the tip of your shimmer stick is to flip it over and just use your towel and dab on the top to get all that color off. If you get any little fuzzies from your towel, you can pick those off as well. I got a few from mine. But once you have it cleared off, you can see what I started with. And then once it's cleared off, it goes right back to the clear that it was before. And it's not damaged at all. You might get a little staining on the tip, but that's not a big deal. As long as the color doesn't transfer, you're good to go. Now I went ahead and removed that diffuser again so you can really see how much shimmer I have on that background. This is on the textured side of the cardstock or the watercolor paper that I'm using. I also did a background. I did three of these actually because I loved it so much, but I did one on smooth as well, which I'll show you the results of in just a moment. But while that was drying, I decided to go ahead and start on finishing off the rest of the card. So I'm making a black frame to frame my sentiment. All I do to make my frame is use a nesting rectangle die set, inlay a smaller die into a larger rectangle, tape them together, and run them through my die cutting machine. There I have a great frame ready to go around my sentiment. I put dimensional adhesive on the back of both of these frames. Here you can see I did two cards. And I just popped that right over the top of the little rectangle I made. I love the look of this. It's so kind of artsy looking, but not being overly busy because I do love a clean and simple design. Now, once I had my frames on, it was time to add my sentiments. I wanted to add the frames first so I could really measure out where I needed my sentiment to go. I'm using a Joy Claire stamp set. It's called Hello Sentiments, and it's got a ton of sentiments that you can build up in it. For this card, I'm using Happy, and I'm stamping down with the VersaFine Claire Nocturne ink. Now, because I'm stamping on watercolor paper, I am using my Mini Misty here, and I'm giving this a few stamps down. What I loved that was kind of a happy accident with using this ink, now, it doesn't soak into the paper at all. It doesn't pick up any of the rainbow colors underneath, but it still allows that shimmer to kind of mix with the ink and shine through. So it looks very flat. It still pops away from the background, but you still have that shimmer. You're not covering any of it up. I went ahead and stamped hello on the other card, and then these both cards were finished. I just wanted to do a little something on the inside. So on one of them, I took all the different markers that I had used on the front to create my rainbow and I flipped them over and I used the fine tip side. I went through rainbow order and just used a ruler to draw a little set of lines right on the inside of the cards. There you can see I'm finishing up with my last few ones and then I can write my message right above that. Just a nice way to add a little something to the inside of the card. Now on the other one I went backwards so I could start at the bottom and then I just used the brush side of the marker to draw a quick rainbow right along the bottom edge of the inside of the card. This is on regular cardstock but it still works perfectly fine and they blend together a little bit. I can write my message above it and that was the inside of the card. Super duper easy, but it's a nice way to bring the outside to the inside as well. Here is a closer look at both finished cards. This one is on the smooth side of the watercolor paper. Has so much shimmer. It's so, so pretty. My daughter ran away with one of these. That's why I made three. I ended up having to make another one. She ran off with one and she said it was hers. It was so beautiful. But that is going to do it for me today. I hope you all enjoyed this video. Thanks for watching and happy crafting.